So now I'm on the train, so I guess I'll just hightail it out of this freaking area. Oh, hey, it's gonna zap me. Great, I should have... What? Oh, okay. Should have and also can. Let's... <laughs> here. Okay. Now... Now I'm through. Fortunately, these idiots don't seem to be able to shoot me very well, so there's that. Well, I guess I got through that objective. Hopefully, I'll get someplace else now. Oi, 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 oi. And, spoiler, I blew up one of them. Uh, because that's just what I did. Also, I yelled and ranted a lot, but every time I yell and rant, uh, I get, uh, I get talked to in the comments very sternly about how about how this game is actually really easy and actually everything makes sense and blah 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 but uh, it doesn't to me so who cares oh hey am I back in this place again maybe I don't know maybe this place isn't another place oh great I'm going back into some sewers it's awesome I wish this HUD would tell me how many potions and things I've got I don't know why there's this trend among people who don't want a HUD I don't even understand I mean Nobody used to care, and now all of a sudden they want quote-unquote more immersion by not having things on the screen. Well, in my opinion, just to go slightly off topic, uh, just because something's on the screen doesn't mean it's not immersive, and conversely, just because it isn't on the screen doesn't mean that it uh, is Im Im immersive. What I'm saying is there could be a badly written story that could take you out of the game even though there's nothing on the screen, and there could be a helpful HUD that could make you just flick your eyes to it and then flick them back and then keep playing the game that could be more immersive than not having one because if you don't have a HUD you might have to keep your getting frustrated and either having your mind elsewhere trying to count for yourself how much damage or how much potions you have or whatever or having to like constantly go into your menu to look at it which is slower and breaking immersion or just like stewing and getting annoyed about it which is also immersion breaking so I totally totally disagree that HUDs are immersion breaking I think it's a completely ridiculous thing I mean I respect people's opinions, theoretically, <laughs> but I disagree. So yeah, anyway, now it apparently is a calmer part, and I want to go to the sewer, but you just know it's going to give me the huge old runaround, and then I'm going to accidentally go to some third-party objective, by which I mean secondary <laughs> objective, that I don't really want, but it's going to be like, hey, you've chosen to take on a mission, and I'll be like, okay, well, at least it looks like there's not too many enemies. They must be giving me a bit of a reprieve after being fatigued from combat fatigue over there, as they would call it in the commentary of Valve games. Yes, no dumping allowed. Well, that's kind of funny. Ah, I seem to be a lot more calm now. <laughs> ah. Not that this game's HUD is too terribly bad. I mean, that's why I said it was a little off topic, but... You know, it could use a couple more indicators, but I just think that in, in games they definitely shouldn't get rid of them. And in Thief 4 they should have a light gem, even though they're probably not going to, because... There's just these simple things. Put them there. Like, it doesn't even cost any man hours. Just stick a graphic and code for five minutes. I mean, just take the code from the old program. I don't know. Well, you can't, but you know what I'm saying. It's, I mean, I don't know. Anyways, look at this guy. Wish I had a last swig of whiskey. Okay. Nor the mask guy's been taking down all the lords and ladies. No way through this gate unless you've got the sewer key. Only one place to get that key, and I wouldn't go there. Not for all the gold in Dunwall Tower. Not again. Maybe you could pull it off, though. Something attacked us in the distillery. It used the rats. I know it sounds crazy. And then it run back under the streets. So we come down here to kill it, Slackjaw leading the way. Went bad. I barely crawled out. I don't know what happened to Slackjaw. He had the sewer key, though. I don't want to fight anymore. Jeez. It's a fog. And then rats. Rats everywhere. Slackjaw chased him deeper into the sewers. <sighs> Whatever. Key hunt. This is Bioshock Syndrome. You think you're going somewhere, and then it sends you around half the fucking globe. Something came up. Shut up, man. Seriously. And then, just to get you through a door. I hate that detouring for a key shit. It's just so annoying. <sighs> Where did games go wrong? Why can't they get simple things right? And why does nobody else than me complain? 
I'm not being a grumpy old man. I mean, seriously. Everybody used to be cool with games the way they are because they were good, and then all of a sudden they got bad and everybody started liking that. I sound like a grumpy old man, but... I just... I think I've got good reasons for what I think. I even explain them sometimes, but... Things just... Oops. I thought that was reload. There is no reload. Things just aren't as they used to be. Or whatever. Uh, I guess I gotta go downwards. This is kind of like Half-Life 2 again, I suppose. Just cutting through boards. Going through places. <laughs> when I go and play Thief 2X, it's gonna be that much better. Is that like a big old gold button? No, it's a drain. Because I'm gonna be like, oh man, this is so much cooler. And by cooler, I mean grander. And by grander, I mean better. And shut. Whatever. <sighs> Alright. Well, guess what thing I don't give a goddamn about? That. Jelly, you daft chauffeur. Here's another one for you. That old witch Granny Rags told me that you'd lose your taste for whiskey in the mouth of in the month of wind. Then your eyes will go dim in the month of seeds, and they'll draw your last breath in the month of ice. If you want your share, you know what to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jelly again. As was laid down long ago, there are thirteen months, each twenty-eight days in length. In the last hours of the year, the High Overseer will sound the Fugue Feast. Okay. I don't care. Whatever. Just get to place. <laughs> oh dear. Now what? Now what? This is some kind of a dead end. I guess I need a key. Oh, it's over there somewhere. So I have to get past these guys this way. Alright. Let's do it. What? <laughs> okay, this is like the most boring gameplay in history. What? Shut up. Ay, ay. Oh no, I keep thinking R is reload, but like I said, there is no reload button. Weird. Oh well, I got tons of bullets. Uh, 75 meters. I'm hoping they don't send me to another zone. They probably won't, though. That would be ridiculous. I don't know. I don't know. This game is not very tightly designed. It's just long and arduous all the time. And there's not really any reason for me to be going here. That's the thing. There's not really any reason for me to be going through the sewer to get the key to open a door. It's really just a pointless blockade. It, they're just trying to extend the game. And there's no reason for it. Well, at least I got some bolts. So there's... That? Am I going the wrong way again here, or what? I don't know where I came from. <sighs> oh look, it's some metroid wibbly-wobbly vines underwater. Guess I can get with that. By which I mean have sex with it! Let's start being wackier. Well, at least this area looks kind of neat. Still overly sickly green, though. Ah, <sighs> I gotta say, man. Val better come up with Half-Life 3 or whatever they're doing. And just, like, kick everybody's ass again. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> just rambling. And not rambling very very properly. I mean, I am rambling quietly. Anyways. Oh, this is like an unnecessarily long-winded place to get a sewer key. Oh, what? Well, why am I... Nice rhyme! Anyway, why do I have to get the key for that gate down there if this is supposed to be completing my goal of getting to an area? Anyway, I guess I can kill Granny Rags. Don't kill me. Granny Rags, stop. Stop what you're doing. Can't we at least talk about it? My knife's gotta be nice and sharp to cut into your skeleton, Slackjaw. Nice and sharp. Well, Slackjaw deserves it, see? I mean, somebody told me that she wasn't as good as I thought, but seriously, she's just killing a freaking gang member. That's a stupid-looking walk. Am I, who am I supposed to kill? I don't know. Oh, no. Look around. There's a cameo for your girl. It's her. Destroy it with the furnace. 
says in one of her books it's the only way to get rid of her forever. A cameo? I know the cameo don't look like her, but it's supposed to be her when she was young. That's where she gets her powers. Throw it into the furnace, burn the cameo, and you kill her. Go away. Can't kill me. Okay, so she's a ghost. Great. Stronger than Scrimshaw, a skull full of guile, whale bile, bones in a pile, white scraped gleaming, night kindle fire and crackle fat, big black gobs of spat, fume up, fume up, feathers, mad eyed bird fell to ground, see its needle, needly, needle see, stare a bit. Strange smelling manuscript. <laughs> Alright, because we sniff what we read. Finally, something interesting to do that I'm interested in. I don't know what a cameo is. If you ask me, a cameo is when somebody goes in a movie that is only there for like a few seconds. How the fuck am I supposed to know what the ye old meaning of cameo is? I'm guessing it's a portrait? I mean, okay. I don't even know if he said where it was, but I guess I gotta find it. So this is like a totally optional quest or something. Well, there's a key. I might have already got the key, actually. It's too late for him. late for you. Organic rubbish. So I'm supposed to put it there, wherever it is. And once again, I wasn't looking at the side of the screen. I'm looking dead center, because that's how I focus when I play. And if the key is over there, I don't see it. So, so it's Granny Rags that uses the rats. <laughs> and, uh, but they, they said that the reason the rats were there is because they were in an exotic place. And now they're totally changing the story. What gives, man? Like, dude, what? Hey. Stupid. I want to read the... Hmm. Excerpt from the Journal of an Explorer and Natural Philosopher. Dr. Heisen's interpretations of the Prandius and Carvings are the height of ignorance. The core theme is not renewal, but dire warning. The central figure is not a benign spirit. It is clearly a monster, and the jewel a type of fetish, the key to its dark potency, perhaps. The panel should be read as follows. The hero figure steals the jewel from the monster and casts it into an unquenchable fire. Thus, the monster is made mortal, and the hero is able to slay it, breaking the cycle of terror. Pardon me. Vera has taken an inordinate interest in my field manuals. Such appetites are unseemly on a lady of her station. I shall have to reprimand her. I'm gonna have to smack a bitch. So dreary, dreary, dreary. Okay, I have no idea. Granny Rags. I guess she frickin' became the lover of the outsider. I don't know, it just seems to... The outsider was like, then she made a different choice. So maybe that's what he meant. Ah. <sighs> yeah, I read that against the whaling trade thing already. Well, where's this so-called cameo? I don't know. So why don't I have a primary objective arrow? Is it because I completed it already? I mean, these aren't completed, are they? I mean, this is completed stuff, right? If they were completed, then they'd have things on them. So why don't I have a... Pointer? I've only got a secondary pointer. Uh, fine. You want me to search something out? Okay. There's this. Oh, I need the key. But my pointer isn't pointing me to it anymore, like the one time I could really use it. Oh, hey. That's what it is. Okay, cast it in the fire. But except this fire isn't even friggin' working anymore. Okay. I guess that'll start it, maybe. I don't know. Well? What? Oh, so now I have to kill her properly, is that right? So... So the rats died, and then they came back to life. And... What? Did I not kill her? Frickin' come on, what are you doing? Now she's dead, I guess. Okay. What, can I cut you out or something? Unlock me. Okay. Want to know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. 
We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny. I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. You know I poisoned your shit, but hey. <laughs> and I don't, and I didn't just see what I just got. Money! I got money! So... The rats may be from a foreign land and that's why they're evil, or they may be controlled by Granny Rags and that's why they're evil. She sold her soul or something like that. So... Yeah... Completely weird, I don't even know what's supposed to be going on, but I got a sewer key. I think, so there's that. Yeah, it was on her waist. Fair enough. Alright. Let's wander all the way back. That was kind of a cool room, I guess. But, uh... Wait, what? How did I get in here if I didn't use the sewer key before? How the hell was that door locked all of a sudden? <sighs> Whatever. So, there can be some surprises, I guess. For some reason, some people were like, Oh, the twist that that your crew uh, started to turn against you was, it, was like predictable. And I'm like, I didn't predict it, but I guess somebody said they did the same thing in one of their previous games. So, maybe there's that. I don't know. But uh, there may or may not be some other further twist that might happen. So, <laughs> let's slowly inch our way towards that. I suppose. Maybe it's because I'm playing this game on hard. That might be why it's hard. Oh, come the frickin' hell on. No breath potion, come on. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Here we go. Let's unlock this pointless blockade. <sighs> There's no life to this game, is there? It's all just do task A, do task B. Uh, feels like a game engine. Why did they give one story about them being from an island, but really it was Granny Rags? I mean, seriously, they should... Granny Rags controlling the rats, that's kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, like, who is she getting revenge against, and why is it the whole city? But, you know, that's the kind of explanation I was, I was hoping for. But then they fake me out with some totally bizarre one that I don't even understand why they said it, because it totally clashes with this. Seems it's also got that Bioshock Syndrome where one writer doesn't know what the other writer is writing. <laughs> but hey. But more likely I'm just stupid. Uh, okay, they're not really having a conversation. But Dude, will you guys just stop spamming me with stupid noises? Uh, so, I guess... I guess we ain't done yet because, uh... Please help me. What? What? Did I jump on them and that caused them to freak out or something? Did somebody accidentally get hit by one of those... ...spitting guys? Our boy is safe. But... Where the hell am I going? Like... For some reason my main quest pointer got turned off. I'm not at all sure how that happened. Okay... Well, I guess I'll try. Alright. These guys are dangerously close to the spitty pies there, but, uh, hey. The pub might possibly be close, so let's break back in and have everybody attack me. And because, or they'll, or they'll claim like, oh, Corvo, we uh, did it on purpose as a decoy. Yeah, that's right. Uh, these guys are kind of annoying. Oh, hey. What do you know? Ugh. What's oh jeez? All right. All right. Seems I forgot to start recording again, so uh, let's just go up here again with commentary this time. It's pretty amazing. Here's a door that could be a door. It's the Hound Pit, somehow. And, uh, that's it for this time. See you guys next time. Bye for now.